Hello everyone, this is Dr. Preeti Pant. Today I am here with my new video which is on Fostec Basic Manufacturing. Fostec, that is Food Safety Training and Certification, it is a large scale training program for the food business. All food businesses having state or central license should have at least one trained food safety supervisor on every 25 food handlers. The food safety supervisors will be certified and trained under FOSTEC program. There are 16 courses uh, in the FOSTEC programs. Uh, these are of uh, basic, advanced and special types. And today I will discuss about FOSTEC basic manufacturing. FOSTEC basic manufacturing training includes four parts. Part 1 is introduction to food safety which includes food safety and food safety hazards and food spoilage. Part 2 contains personal hygiene which has health status, behavioral and personal cleanliness and visitors. Part 3 is related to food operation and control and part 4 is related to packaging and distribution. Food business organizations should provide safe food to the consumers because people have the right to expect the food they eat to be safe and suitable for consumption. Because uh, by the consumption of unsafe food, various kinds of foodborne illness and foodborne injuries can occur which can be fatal. Food spoilage is wasteful costly and can adversely affect trade and consumer confidence. Food safety measures should be applied throughout the food chain that means setting out the necessary hygiene conditions from primary production to the final consumer for producing food which is safe and suitable for consumption. FSSAI is the prime food authority in India which was established by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in the year 2011 and it was established under the Food Safety and Standard Act 2006. Section 44 of the Food Safety and Standard Act 2006 provides the power to food authority to identify an organization for carrying out food safety audit and checking conformity with the food safety management systems. Hazards are responsible for the spoilage of food. Hazard is a biological, chemical or physical agent in or condition of food with the potential to cause an adverse health effect. There are four types of hazards. Microbiological hazards includes bacteria, yeast, mold and viruses. Chemical hazards include uh, water, food contact materials, cleaning agents, pest control substances, contaminants, pesticides, biocides and food additives. Physical hazard contains glass, packaging, jewelry, pest droppings, screws, bolts, nuts, extra. And uh, fourth one is allergens. The consumption of uh, these allergens can cause us allergy. Most common food allergens are uh, tree nuts, soya, fish, peanuts, shellfish, eggs, wheat and dairy products. These hazards are responsible for the spoilage of food. Food spoilage is the process where a food product becomes unsuitable to consume by the consumers. Various conditions which are responsible for the spoilage of food are uh, temp unsuitable temperature, time, bad raw material, improper processing, not following FIFO and FAFO, foreign matter, pest, humidity, bad water, additives, improper handling, bad waste disposal, non-food grade packaging, non-food grade equipments, lack of proper drainage, 
residues or chemicals improper storage non standard sanitation body fluids of rodents pest improper segregation and illness or injury of staff microorganisms are responsible for the spoilage of food if we talk about the conditions which support the growth of microbial pathogens these are fat tom that means food acidity time temperature oxygen and moisture proteins and carbohydrates present in food products acts as a source for the growth of pathogens pathogens grow best in foods with low acidity these pathogens require a particular time for their growth they grow best between 5 to 60 degree centigrade so it is known as the danger zone some pathogens require oxygen for their growth these are known as the aerobes and which can grow in the absence of oxygen are known as the anaerobes pathogens also need moisture for their growth so food will spoil because of non gmp non sanitary equipment design non compatible cleaning chemicals unsafe physical and chemical product composition undercooking expired shelf life use of non food grade chemicals and lubricants and unhygienic surroundings so to control the spoilage of food good hygienic practices and good behavioral practices should be followed by food handlers hands should be washed properly and uh, food handlers should follow these uh, eight steps of hand washing these steps are uh, palm to palm between fingers back of hands base of thumbs back of fingers fingernails wrist and finally they should rinse and wipe dry their hands hand washing should be done after using the toilet or urinal before and after handling of raw food before serving food after cleaning washing dishes before putting gloves or any time you take gloves off after smoking chewing gum or chewing after eating drinking and after breaks after touching your face hair clothes or any part of your body after handling a tissue or handkerchief after sneezing coughing or scratching any part of your body and before and after handling or preparing any food item food handlers are required to wash their hands before beginning work before working with foods and after any activity that could contaminate the food and equipment they are working with time to time health checkup of the staff should be done by medical practitioner visitors of the food safety organization shall wear protective clothing and footwear and shall adhere to food safety provisions as mandate to control food spoilage and to maintain food safety food processing area and equipments and utensils should be clean and sanitized floors ceilings and walls should be cleanable durable and impervious to moisture floors should have proper drainage windows should be well screened storage area should be neat and clean properly organized and proper lighting should be there time to time cleaning of the floors should be done equipment should be cleaned with the food grade cleaning agents the equipment should be adequately cleaned disinfected and maintained to avoid the contamination of food equipments should be made of materials with no toxic effect in intended use 
where necessary equipment should be durable and movable or capable of being disassembled to allow for maintenance cleaning disinfection and monitoring where necessary equipment should be durable and movable or capable of being disassembled to allow for maintenance cleaning disinfection and monitoring containers for waste by products and inedible or dangerous substances should be specifically identifiable suitably constructed and where appropriate made of impervious material containers used to hold dangerous substances should be identified and where appropriate be lockable to prevent accidental contamination of food personal hygiene facilities should be available to ensure that an appropriate degree of personal hygiene can be maintained and to avoid contaminating food proper hygiene and sanitary conditions has to be applied during transportation of raw material as well as in the transportation of processed product packaging of food should be done in the packages prepared from food grade material labels should have clear instructions to enable the consumers to handle display store and use the product safely appropriate records of processing production and distribution should be kept and retained for a period that exceeds the shelf life of the product documentation can enhance the credibility and effectiveness of the food safety control system time to time training should be given to food handlers about food safety hygiene sanitation gmp and ghp so uh, through fostec basic manufacturing training food handlers will understand the principles of food hygiene applicable throughout the food chain to achieve the goal of ensuring that food is safe and suitable for human consumption thank you for watching this video next video will be coming soon